Good morning, everybody. Doug Petcash coming to you live once again from my house in Meridian. And we have a brand new innovative educator for you this morning. This teacher continues to make a difference for her kids from home. As Tammy Tremblay found out, this uh, teacher is um, helping the class cope with being out of school unexpectedly. These are pictures of Miss Amy Griffin's class at Liberty Elementary School in Boise. She loves her sixth graders and they love her. We talked with one of her students, Gavin Lee, over FaceTime. I wish I could be in class with her right now. But of course, no one is in school. Idaho is under a stay-at-home order. So Miss Griffin decided that she had to do something to keep the class together. And, and I think it came from the abruptness of the decision where we said goodbye on Friday fully expecting to see each other on Monday and that didn't happen and and that, that coupled with the idea that we didn't really know how long this would go. So she told us over Zoom that she connected with her students on Google Classroom just to make sure that they knew she was thinking about them. Miss Griffin also gave them some enrichment activities to keep them entertained but she says it just wasn't enough. But I, I did want to hear their voices, so I logged on to our uh, computer system at school and, and found their phone numbers and started calling them all. She told them about starting a Zoom group chat. So a lot of them, I did sense a relief in their voice, and it sure offered me a lot of relief hearing their voice, honestly. Yeah. Um, and, you know, something about just assuming somebody's okay and seeing their face and hearing their voice. It offers that reassurance that isn't there through a text message or email. And so you guys are just checking in with each other. Uh, what do you guys talk about during that call? Uh, well, our art mom was on one of the, the first calls, and, and she, when she realized we were going to meet a second time, mm -hmm. she gave us all a challenge. She said, I want you to go outside and, and find signs of spring and do a sketch. And when we come back together, I want you guys to, to share your sketch. What did you think about her trying to do the Zoom meeting with everybody in your class? I, I thought it was a great idea. I was starting to miss everyone like a lot so I was super excited when she figured that out and tried to help us all see each other that was really cool. Miss Griffin has also been getting insight from Gavin and the rest of the class when it comes to online learning. When the Boise School District sent out the message that we would be going to online services and, and there was a little uncertainty about what that might look like our topic for that Zoom meeting was, how do you feel about online learning? What are you excited about? What do you have concerns about? And, and just trying to get their feedback and their ideas so I know how to best um, cheerlead them and reassure them and, and offer comfort and, and let them know we're going to be okay. We can do online learning and, and um, we're going to make this work. It's been helpful for not only Miss Griffin and her class, but the parents too. There's not enough good things to say about Mrs. About Ms. Griffin. Heather Lee, who is Gavin's mom, says Miss Griffin is helping families like her stay sane right now and is doing it with a whole lot of uplifting support. Kind of gives them something to look forward to to break up the monotony of being at home each day. And, you know, we all love each other as a family, but <laughs> it takes time to be able to break it up and do something a little different, something a little fun. Mm -hmm. If um, if you could give Miss Griffin any kind of message, what would it be? Oh my gosh, um, I'd have to do it without trying to try not to cry here. Um, she's, you know, she's just she's empowering. She always finds a silver lining in every situation. Miss Amy Griffin, do you miss her? Yeah, I miss her. This week's innovative educator. That was Tammy Tremblay reporting, and Tammy tells us the Boise School District is no longer using Zoom for meetings, and so Miss Griffin's class is switching over to Google Hangouts, and that starts today. Now, if you know an innovative educator who is really going above and beyond, like so many, or enough, not all of the teachers are right now during this time when there is no class in the school buildings, you can email us at innovativeeducator at ktvb.com. Just tell us a little bit about what they are doing right now so we can honor them for going above and beyond. That's innovativeeducator at ktvb.com.